Hey everybody, Skystreak with you. It's been a while, I know. I missed you guys too. I really did. I've been busy, I guess, if you want to call it that. Just like everybody else is. Busy, busy, busy. Playing in the rat race of society and getting nowhere with it. Just like everybody else on this planet, except the rich and the elite and the corporate elite and the big banks that can't fail types of people. Meanwhile, we, as usual, run around like a bunch of fucking cattle down here on this planet, having money ripped out of our pockets. Seems like it's never ending, right? But I've got good news for you tonight as I make this video because, well, there is a little bit of hope, I think. I think that more people are becoming aware of what's going on around them. I do think that people are getting a grasp on the reality of their situation and the illusion that surrounds, surrounds them. Excuse me. I don't know how many. I don't have a tally. But from what I've been reading and researching and listening to over the course of, say, oh, the last three, four months, um, things seem to be not necessarily turning in our favor, but turning against the government. There's lower percentages of people turning out for votes, which is a broken system anyway. Um, there's a lower percentage of people that are even willing to vote locally. And I know there's going to be a handful of you assholes out there that says, well, if you don't vote, you can't change anything. Fuck you. It's broken. It doesn't matter. They can shift the game and manipulate it and do whatever the fuck they want with it. It's their system, not ours. They just want to make it look official that we, you know, went out and felt proud to vote as an American or any other country for that matter. But no, folks, I think, I honestly think in my heart of hearts that things may not get better overnight, but I think with the push of the people that are awake, we can move this country forward in our favor this time around, guys. Even, over, even if it only lasts for another hundred years and things go to shit, at least we give it one hell of a shot, and at least our next generation might have a shot too. I don't know about you, but I'm talking to some younger kids in today's society that actually do know what the fuck is going on. I'm talking 17, 18, 19 year olds. To me, that's surprising because it's very few and far between right now. But hey, if they know their shit and they can start communicating with the other kids that they know, this could snowball. This could change things because we need this next generation to get its shit together or we're fucking doomed. Or I should say, they're doomed. Because on the track that we're on right now, folks, if we keep just doing what we're doing and just allowing things to happen and accept it as reality and the norm and legal, People will be going to FEMA camps. It's going to be like Nazi Germany all over again, folks. Don't kid yourself. Oh, yeah, but it's such modern technology. Who cares? Now they have the modern technology to, to enslave you even more conveniently. Okay? Fingerprints, eye retinal scans, just, you know, it's, it's going that way. Barcodes. They want to control society for the betterment of the empire, the oligarchy, the administration, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Throw a, slap another fancy word out there. I don't care. It's all the same thing. They made money and took all the power and the wealth through making us slaves, folks. And a lot of people just aren't going to fucking deal with it anymore. They're just not. And if we don't stand together, at least in voice, not protest, but at least in voice, to get this ball rolling, then we'd have a pretty slim chance, I think. But 
think positively, you know, don't dwell on the media. Please don't do that because that'll get you nowhere. Woof, spritzer, blitzer. They all get handed a script. And it's not the real news. And no, you can't believe everything that's on the internet. But if you research deeply enough, you can. So keep your wits about you. Watch what's going on in reality. Move yourself away from the illusion for a little while, folks. Just step back and observe humanity right now. Just just take a day and just walk around uh, your day-to-day routine. Instead of looking at your iPhone, just observe humanity. When's the last time you held the door open for somebody and they said, thank you? People are losing the culture of being people. But that's just dragging down this conversation, isn't it? So yeah, peace, love to all. Glad to be back, at least for this one. And many more to come, I hope. Been busy, busy, busy. Not only with you know, the work thing and stuff, but uh, Awake Radio as well. AwakeRadio.us Check them out. Check our show out. You can find it. Because you know me by name. And I'm pretty sure you could figure it out. But, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, And as always, peace. And I'm out.